This video will cover the basic use and understanding of the MP slash QB11 Spectrum Analyzer feature. This feature is available only on the firmware version 5.0 and above. The Spectrum Analyzer scans the R spectrum to compute the max and min received signal strength indication, RSSI, on each channel. RSSI is a measurement of the power present in a received radio signal. The max and min RSSI on each channel are calculated by considering the background noise. To start the Spectrum Analyzer, click on Monitor, Spectrum Analyzer, and then Start. Please note that the RF link will go down during the Spectrum Analyzer scan. Once the scan is complete, you would have to power cycle the unit for the warp link to be reestablished. After the scan is complete, you're going to see the following information. Down here in this field, you're going to see Index, which indicates just the a number representing for each channel the frequency channel. This indicates the channel number and the frequency of the channel scanned. Recognized frames, these are 8211 frames like access points and so on. Unrecognized frames are non-80211 frames. An example would be a full duplex device that uses one channel to receive and one channel to transmit. Here's your min RSSI numbers and your max RSSI numbers. The graph field displays the interference in the channel by indicating the length of the graph. The longer the graph and high number of 8211 frames or unrecognized frames imply more interference on the channel. The goal is to locate the Kalinish channel all units. Because of this, the spectrum analyzer will have to be run in all units. This feature is limited in accuracy or capability. It is not a direct substitution for professional deployment with a dedicated spectrum analyzer. For more Proxim Support TV videos and access to our various support offerings, please visit support.proxim.com. If technical support is required, please call 1-866-674-6626 or open a ticket with us.